Hi there, this is Diane, one woman's opinion out and about. I'm going to do a restaurant review of Northwoods Inn in Covina, California. If you've not heard of Northwoods, there are, I don't know how many there are, maybe three that I know of, but uh, it's not the only one, but every time I have gone to it, I've had a wonderful experience. And tonight was no exception. Uh, the One of the coolest things about Northwoods at least I remember this place as a little kid. And thankfully they had a little postcard that I could sh actually show you. It looks like snow. It's always, always snowing at Northwoods. Uh, so in sunny Southern California on a, a nice June evening, <laughs> we drove up to this place that looked like it had snow all over the roof. And so it always looks like that. And so it's very, very hard to miss. And I remember I, I totally had this interesting memory tonight about going there on my 11th birthday after going ice skating with all my girlfriends for my party and having one of their Sundays. <laughs> but anyway, that's, that's another uh, interesting little thing that came up tonight. Um, when you go to a place, too, it, every place has its own ambiance. And Northwoods inside, it's a, it's a nice place, but it's also um, a very different place. And thankfully, I have a picture of this, too. So you walk in, and if you have to wait, there's this waiting area here. And if you notice on the floor, there's sawdust all over the floor. And there's bowls of peanuts. So while you're waiting, which we didn't have to wait tonight, they bring you and then you walk to your place and again there's sawdust and so it looks like you're in a log cabin sort of and the dining fare is um, you know it's steaks and potatoes and lobster and everything like that it is absolutely delicious and always cooked to perfection and um, tonight I got a steak and a potato your classic food and uh, it was just cooked so perfectly and delicious just succulently juicy still and uh, their condiments are just incredible for your potato very simple but very delicious and before you get that uh, every meal comes with these two amazing salads that are so flavorful of course after you eat your peanuts and stuff then they bring the bread and they bring the salad and the salads are one of them is just so easy it's just chopped up iceberg lettuce in perfectly chopped bite-sized pieces with the most delicious blue cheese dressing. It is so flavorful and so delicious, and I'm sure it's not low in calories. Uh, but one day a week, you know, treat yourself to something that is a delicious, delicious meal without any guilt, and you can do your cleansing day on the following Monday. Um, so. So anyway, so that was what I, I had. And then um, the other salad is, it's such a distinctive flavor. I don't know exactly what the recipe is, but I'll bet if you did a little search online, you could find it. And it used to be called Clearman's. Now it's called Northwoods Inn. So if you look under like a Clearman's cabbage salad, it's this beautiful eggplant purple color, but it's that, that purple cabbage and it is, dripping in the most delicious, um, I don't know if it's like a vinegar, uh, oil and vinegar mix dressing. It is so tangy and so flavorful and it's good the next day. And the next day, if you go in and buy just that, you can do, do that to take it home. And so those are the two amazing salads that come with your dinner. And then the bread, oh my gosh. You know, some places serve bread just as a perfunctory addition, a little side thing. No, at Northwoods Inn, their bread is one of the main courses. It's so delicious. Oh my gosh. And I remember, I remember it's interesting because uh, when I lived in Massachusetts many, 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 many moons ago, and you're away from things that you knew, California, one of those things I missed was the bread from Northwoods. And I discovered in my local grocery store, in the um, refrigerated section in a, in a little pint size uh, little container whatever it's called Clearman's original spread and it has got these like Romano cheese and just different kinds of cheeses and stuff and you get sourdough bread and you broil it until it's just golden brown on the top and it's just it's 
soft and sort of crispy around the edges but on the bottom it's like almost soggy it's so delicious and of course I know that's not good for you as far as um, health wise but you know all week when you're drinking smoothies and having wheatgrass and fruits and everything it, it is it's so fun to be able to give yourself a free day or free two days and then get back on your schedule and enjoy one of the greatest pleasures in life which is delicious delicious food so uh, let's see um, da -da -da -da. oh our waiter our waiter's name was Ed and he was first class all the way he was professional he was prompt he was uh, delightful and then he punctuated our special dinner that was so delicious he kept bringing us more of whatever if we saw that we were out of it without us even asking he would just bring something new and then for dessert the couple that my friend and I went with they said oh you know no we're okay and we're like why don't, we, why don't we split one of there? They have like this ice cream sundae with this delicious chocolate frosting and they serve it in this, in this nice schooner goblet. And he actually brought two and he said, I split it in half so that, you know, everybody could have some, which was so thoughtful. And I'm sure that um, he got a little something extra extra for being so thoughtful. And you know what? It is amazing when you get great service with somebody who takes the initiative to give you extra wonderful service so kudos to ed and kudos to northwoods for hiring a guy like ed and if you're watching ed if you happen to see this thank you you really did give us lovely service and um let's see what else we did the food and how it looked it was beautiful how it tasted it was succulent delicious the, the i got a steak it was just perfection and let's see oh our company now i know our company doesn't have to, to do with the restaurant review but our company was absolutely absolutely one of the highlights of the night and even though uh, northwoods can't take credit for the company that we shared what they can do is take credit for the ambiance that they created so that we might have such a delightful conversation. I don't think there's a bad table in the place. Um, they didn't have, uh, I don't think they had booths. We were actually sitting at a table in these little wooden chairs, uh, but it wasn't uncomfortable. It was just nice. So all the way around, I mean, this is like a, a it, this is just one of the places that it's such a treat to. And I don't think I go more than once a year, once every other year, and before that I hadn't gone for maybe 20 years. So it was a, it was a old but new, a rediscovered favorite, and I hope I don't have to wait that long before I go again. The prices are um, moderate to expensive. I think my dinner was $25 or so, $26. Not sure, but for what you get, it's absolutely worth every penny. And so um, thank you for providing such a wonderful fare and a wonderful ambiance. And again, thank you so much for watching. I do hope you check it out. If they do have a website, which I was looking on their little cards, um, just remember what it looks like. It looks like a snow covered place, like a cabin in the middle of sunny Southern California. <laughs> it has a busy little street. They, I don't know how they captured this picture, maybe at three o'clock in the morning and uh, have fun with it. It's really fun to go to a place where you can uh, crunch your peanuts and throw the shells on the floor. What a classy place, but it was. It really is a great place, so I do recommend it. And thank you so much for watching. I'm Diane, out and about.